Well, good day, folks. This is Stuart Dunn on the other end of this camera from Universal Rocks. And I must say, I'm pretty inspired to be talking to you guys about this new showroom that we've opened up. This is our um, 6,000 square foot showroom at the front here. And I'll take you around and show you all the different parts of it. There's some cool stuff here. And uh, we've got about 50 different water features. We've got a bunch of aquariums and reptile tanks. And there's just an eyeful for everyone who comes in here. And there's a lot to talk about. Probably more than I can put onto the one video. Well, not probably. There's 10 times more than I can put on one video. But I'll give you a quick tour of it. There's bubbling accent rocks here. And they're just um, great for everybody. You know, whether you've got a small area or a large area, you can use a combination of these and the water just naturally bubbles out of them and looks fantastic. All of these rocks at the same time can just be used without the hole in them and can just be used as an accent rock or a utility rock cover. Over the back here, we've got self-contained units. It's been fantastic for us for many years. Great, many people are very, very happy with those because they can fit on a small courtyard up against a fence or a screen or a wall and they take up very little space and they take about five minutes or less to set up. So great option for many people. As we come around this side, we've got plenty of rock walls. We've got about 50 feet of rock walls here with water running out of them and ponds below it and creeks. There's just um, you know one after another of features to look at. And all of these are you know made so that you could do this yourself or get a landscaper or you know, a handyman to put it in place in literally minutes, if not some of them, sorry, a few hours, but the hardest part is just digging it in the ground. You know, always doing different things. Every, every week we're, we're showing someone how to do something new, setting up a new aquarium, a new pond. Last week, for example, let me just take you down here, this rock here. I was down in um, Marble Falls, Texas. I just molded this rock. I'm going to lean down here. This rock here is, is 10 foot long. Okay, I've got my left hand here as I do this. Watch. Okay, lifting the whole thing up off the ground. And at the same time, you know, bang, we can walk on this. There's my feet, we're jumping all over this. We could run a, run a hose over this and this could become a fantastic bubbling accent rock or just nothing more than a feature in the garden. Okay, we've got another big self-contained unit there. Dig in ponds here. Just have a look at these. They look exactly like the real thing. They're coloured with real rock. They're moulded from real rock. And um, you don't have to worry about winterising these or worrying about the hot summer's heat on them. These two that I've just shown you, they're about 100, 140 gallons ponds. About seven feet, six to seven feet long. This is a very small digging pond here. This will take up an area about two feet by two and a half feet by two and a half feet. Okay, and as we come across there, I'll just show you a view through here. Okay, we've got custom waterfalls on the right, all the way to the back wall there. Big King Kong in the middle. All these trees, we can make all these for you if you have any, you have a hotel or a, or a nightclub or a a resort or whatever, we make these trees. Another quick picture on a nice dig-in pond, one of our biggest selling ones. A three-tier one. Okay, I've got the turtle tank in there. My filtration system's not working, so I'm not too happy about showing you that, but that's about 12 foot long, four foot high. Okay, another big dig-in pond. This is about 10 foot by 8 feet by um, 2 feet deep with an LEW3 at Serenity on top. Another example, this rock here. Look at the clarity of that. That rock weighed 2,700 2, pounds and uh, it, we needed heavy equipment. We needed a forklift to move that. Now it weighs about 50 pounds. Okay, we're going to swing up and we'll swing around here. We'll go to this custom, big custom job. All these pavers in the front here, they're all man-made and uh, they weigh a fraction of what they did and they just look fantastic with the artificial grass in between. 
keep in mind we're inside here, so artificial grass probably wouldn't, um, real grass probably wouldn't live too well. We've got a pond here with stepping stones across it. 7,000 gallons of water running this. Okay, all these animals that you see around, we, we sell them too. They look great to have around as decorations. This is our mock-up swimming pool area. And uh, this one here has three lights in it, so that's a new thing that we've had made for us, these fantastic little LED lights. And uh, they really just make any water feature look even better of a night time. And shortly I'll take you into our night room and show you how amazing they all look when the room's pretty dark. Okay, we have about 15 different waterfalls that can go on swimming pools. This is just three with the edge rocks. Actually, I'll just take you down the side here and just show you. This is an edge rock, for example. Okay, and you just got the cut over lip. And um, look, we'll just move that. So it just goes straight over on the coping of your pool, and then you can bolt that onto some wood that's on the coping of the pool. There's a, there's a really good installation video that I did many years ago to show you how to do that on our website. Okay, we're just going to scan all the way back here. Okay. So this area is about 6,000 square feet, and we have another 4,000 out the back with, with um, stock and demonstration areas. Okay, we're going to swing back into here. Here's um, fairy gardens. We're, we're just getting into creating a range of fairy garden products. And this is um, a fairy garden mountain. Okay, I might lose you now. I'm going to go into the night room. So let's just um, let the camera refocus and we'll move back into there. Okay, I'm in the night room now and this is just a magic room. It's not finished. There's many more things that we'll do over time in this room. but. There's some great things like this. Probably can't quite see them, but there are butterflies on that bit of Bucks's hedging we've got there. We've got a light on the wall. We've got the light in the WWP8 little self-contained unit there. And it just looks magic. And that's what lights do in the dark night. They just, they just show great reflections everywhere. And uh, the sounds and the, the reflections and the, I don't know, the droplets of water, it all just comes to life even more than it does in the day. So uh, this is a small patio pond. There's a large patio pond also with three lights on it there. Moving around to the side here, we've got the medium patio pond. Okay, I'm just going to walk a little bit further. This is just a, an LED uh, tree that we bought online. We don't sell these at this point in time, but they just look magnificent in here. This is a, a dig-in pond, an MRP8 with a medium waterfall 5, and I tell you what, it just, it, you know, you've got to come down here to see it, because once you, once you can see it and hear it and feel it, it's even better than just looking on a camera. Okay, one more right around the end here. This is our, our large corner waterfall, been a great seller for us for many, many years. Takes up an area in a corner against a wall or a screen. Takes up an area about five foot by four foot, and it stands just under four foot high. Great, great product. Let's move on. We'll go. We'll go outside. Okay. This is um. This is our counter here. But what I wanted to show you about the counter and the desk desk here and the back walls. This is using our rocket rocket walls, and these walls. Um, we're moulded from sawn cut sandstone and the good thing about this is that you can bend it Well, you can get it in two ways. You can get it in a flexible or a rigid But we've just bent that around the walls both um, convex curve and, con and concave curve so you can actually bend it any way to do anything And then as you see at our entrance that we came through to start with we've bent all these other panels around a wooden structure to create this amazing looking cave with the aquarium in it. So and behind that aquarium, I'll take you over there, is a whole range of our decoration rocks and backgrounds in aquariums. And that's a very big part of our business as well, where we have um, hundreds of different pieces that can decorate the smallest tank right up to any custom job for any of the public aquarium. So, guana cage there. So, hey, look out for us. 
Look online. You, below, you've got a section there for comments. So if you've got any questions, please just try and find um, write some comments down the bottom. By all means, come out here and talk to us. You won't be dis disappointed, I tell you. It's, it's a piece of Disneyland here. Very, very proud of it. And uh, it's only the beginning. We've, we've been doing this 15 years, but every day we do something different. Well, yes, folks, and there will always be more, and that's what I'm about to show you for a minute or two here. The, here is some huge new boulders, great for creating rockeries and waterfalls and bubbling rocks, but they're really for this grotto that I'm about to show you, and um, some of these rocks range three foot up to nearly six feet tall. Uh, well, there's another one. This is a rock wall panel. I'll really show you a close-up here. This is actually about 11 feet by 10 feet high and it looks magnificent and if we swing around here we'll walk up this decking not quite finished but here's our latest pond and for those of you who know our product range that's the LEW2 sitting on that pond and this is about 12 feet long 8 feet wide and nearly um, 4 feet deep it's got a seat all the way around we actually can put jets in this and a skimmer and use this as a spa but if you're not going to use it for that it certainly makes uh, the first time ever a really good koi pond and if we move over to the side here I'll just step down we've got our grotto and this grotto is about five five and a half feet tall if that was real it'd probably be about 12 ton of rock and it just took three of us to put that together in about 10 minutes I kid you not and um, we have two larger rocks that they can sit on which takes it to nearly six six and a half feet tall they are just so cool and easy compared to messing around with cranes and forklifts and well, bobcats that couldn't have couldn't even play a part in that they're too big okay but down the bottom is some flagstone and this is a little bit different than the flagstone you saw in the front part of this video this is our flexi flagstone and a piece like that is actually nearly six feet long four foot wide it was about two two and a half inches thick and it weighed close to 500 pounds now have a look at this this is really cool i call it flexi because that's exactly what you can do you can bend it and uh, it now weighs about 40 pounds they're all the same thickness which is about three quarters inch and they can go on really any material on paving on a, on a concrete surface on some gravel across your grass area across your garden and look out for those, our flexi flagstones. There's a whole range of them. And the be best thing about these is you get lots of big pieces. So um, it's not just doing like these little ones in the middle to fill the gaps. And uh, that's what's very hard to achieve with real flagstone. So thanks for joining me. And I um, hope you enjoyed the extra two minutes we just did on the end of this video. And I uh, look forward to showing you some more things as we make more as time goes on. Have a good day.